I want to start with your background. How did you even have this opportunity to get to Gaza? I think it's important for us to sort of lay the uh, foundational framework until you enter into Gaza. So how did this opportunity even come up? Because what we're hearing, you know, from the outside is that the Israelis have everything closed up and, and you can't even get in. Yes and no. They, they have a lot of restrictions on and allowing people to come in. But at the end of the day, they allow a certain number of people to go each month. So subhanAllah, yani, you want to call it uh, luck, tawfiq in Allah, uh, Allah subhanAllah chosen, or whatever you want to call it. SubhanAllah, I, from, from the beginning, from October 8, I start looking online to see who's can, who can take me. Mm. And I, was, I have a lot of friends in Jordan who were, who, subhanAllah, without any, without any coordination, with any organization, with anyone, they literally, they backed up their stuff. They, they um, took um, vacation from their job. Uh, with unknown end, and they literally they flew from Amman to Jordan, uh, from Amman to Qahira, and then from Qahira they spent anything from, depending on which group it is, from one week to two weeks trying to go to Gaza, and unfortunately they wouldn't let them, and that was as early as October 20. So mm-hmm. as early as October 20, there were some really really good-hearted people without any organization, without any Subhanallah support from any government or anything. On their own, they flew to Qahira, and then from Qahira, they tried to go in. They were not successful. So I was in touch with those group of people from the beginning saying, you know, if you can get in, you drag me with you, you know? And we had that agreement. And subhanAllah, it didn't work. So we kept trying and trying. And subhanAllah, the opportunity came through a small organization here in Michigan called Rahma Organization, Rahma Worldwide. Um, and uh, they, I, again, I know some people through my previous work in public health. And I heard that they managed to get the first mission. The first mission went in around early January. And they immediately called them and said, hey, listen, I need to be there. Uh, and I don't, I don't care how long it does it take. I don't care about all the details. I need to be there. Um, because alhamdulillah, I, I think I can offer something they need, which is I'm a, I'm a trauma surgeon and I'm a vascular surgeon. So alhamdulillah, through Rahma organization, they managed and they gave me the opportunity to go in the 